What up, dudes? It's Gaz, and welcome back to the Warframe video. So since we're still waiting for Sightrine's last wish update uh, on all platforms, I figured I'd do some more beginner-friendly videos. And today we'll be going over Star Days, explaining what it is, trying to understand why it always comes back every year, and letting you know how you can farm the stuff from Star Days if you're interested in the limited things it does provide, as these are time-limited for the most part. Before we get into it, though, make sure you check out the live stream channel. We'll be live later tonight with some Warframe, doing some late-game farming. And also, make sure you're subbed to this YouTube channel. We do daily Warframe video uploads, even though the game doesn't really put out enough content to make daily videos for most people. I'm going to be doing it anyway. So, we got Star Days right here. So, it is currently, like, the beginning of February in 2023, and this is around the time when Star Days appears every year. It's around early February, mid-February... And it's going to go for about two weeks whenever it shows up. The way that you are going to be interacting with this holiday vendor, I wouldn't really call it an event, honestly, because there's nothing special really happening. You're just using the same things that drop all year round, but you're just using them. They're repurposed. There's a second use for them now. You go to Venus, so you go to the place with a big heart on it, and you pick whatever relay you want to go to. The items that drop during bounties from Venus, open world bounties, and from the Prophet Taker boss fight at the end... Those items drop all year round, but you'll be using those items that drop all year round to buy these time-limited items. For, it's basically the Valentine's Day holiday vendor. I, I really don't want to call it an event because there's no specific bounties that spawn here. There's no quests. There's no nothing like that. It's just basically come over here and just, if you have extra bounty stuff, just turn it into this guy. Or, or to them, actually. All right, trade bond for Flares. Higher Railjack crew members, you're looking for Star Days Affections. Now, if you if you want to see what you already own, obviously click Hide Own. I already have everything here, but we're just going to show you what you can get. So, the, the only unique thing about this uh, holiday vendor is that it has special dialogue. And as you can see, they talk a lot. So, if you ever want to shut the, uh, the NPCs up, just go to the Nightwave button right here. And it usually makes them shut up. But I clicked on them again, so he's, they're talking again. So let's hurry up and get through this before the annoying dialogue gets to me. So get the. Learned my worth. Learned the places and people that matter. Open my eyes. This stuff doesn't matter, by the way. Okay. They they keep talking. They keep talking. So we got the Eros Wing Ephemera. This is actually this used to be a Nightwave reward. Is, are they done talking? No, they're going to say every voice line they have. Okay, I'm going to actually just mute the game real quick. They, they're going to keep talking. So, Eros Wing Ephemera. This used to be a Nightwave reward. This is going to be 35 training debt bonds. This is what most people would probably do this event for in the first place. This cosmetic is quite nice. Of course, can be color customized to look different. 35 training debt bonds. Some of the easiest ones to get, actually. If you do have access to the Prophet Taker Stage 5 at the end, you get tons of debt bonds to drop. Uh, and, you know, that could be great. I definitely recommend getting to rank 5 if you can. It's a big gear check at the end of it, but it's worth it. I'm going to remute. Um, Cherub, color palette, pretty nice one. Has a good amount of variety in here. And as far as a free-to-play color palette is concerned, you should definitely pick this up. Another one, 25. Well, this one's familial debt bonds. So, as you can see, two different types of debt bonds. We'll show the bounties that drop these. Um, but, but yeah, there is quite a bit of different types. Like, I think four or five different ones. Okay, so these are the two things I thought I said you should definitely get. Everything else after this is just, like, bonus stuff. Uh, there is a new... There's technically a new emote. It's like a two-person emote. Left-hand heart emote. Right-hand heart emote. Not really needed, to, in my opinion. The things you need are these two things at the top, and then there's also some mastery uh, weapons here. So, Ignis Wraith, you can actually get this from your clan dojo nowadays. It's not even a tradable item anymore. So, uh, you can actually go and get this from Star Days as well. It's a very powerful weapon, requires master rank 9. Basically a crit flamethrower, as I'd refer to it as. Um, but yeah, you can get this from the clan dojo, so don't bother with buying it from here, unless you just really, you, you don't have a clan. If you're a newer player, though, you should definitely, definitely join a clan. One of the things I mainly recommend to most new players. Additionally, this is another thing you need from Star Days. For some reason, the Snipetron only comes from this holiday vendor. It's a really generic, bad weapon, just a sniper, pretty much, 
but it only comes from here. So if you want to get this mastery rank uh, from this weapon, pick up this weapon from Star Days, or you might regret it, because there's literally no other way to get this. You can't even buy it from the in-game market for some reason. And that is literally it. That is literally it for Star Days, guys. Uh, you got you got you got two cosmetics I'd recommend, and you got some weapons that are one that is randomly only available here, and then one that is available in the dojo and probably shouldn't be here anymore. The rest of the stuff you got like a ephemera, a very underwhelming ephemera. You can't like what is it even doing here in this picture, right? Nothing. So let's talk about how you can get these debt bonds and get away from ticker because they won't stop talking. Like, it was literally just constant dialogue. I, I guess it's the most important time of the year for Ticker, because the only time that they're actually relevant to anyone. I actually know you can buy crew members from them during the rest of the year, so I guess it's not that bad. But yeah. As far as debt bonds, you can get them from over here at Bounties. So if you look right here, let's look for the, the low-level one. This low-level one will give you two training debt bonds, potentially. There's so much dialogue in this game. Like, after I hear it the first time, I don't need to hear it ever again, honestly. I'm going to remute. Um, so, yeah. Training debt bonds from level 1. Shelter debt bonds from level 2. Medical debt bonds from level 3. And you see, as it goes up, there's different types. And familial debt bonds are dropped from the high level ones. So, for familial debt bonds, really it's going to be, do you have the profit taker unlocked? Once you get to rank 5 with this syndicate, like the main people outside, you get access to a second syndicate back here, which is going to be a very, very good debt bond farm. It's called the... Vox Solaris and the Profit Taker. So back here, once you get rank five, Profit Taker bounties. I know it might be Utico that's outside and here. It's kind of weird, but that's what it ever it is. This place right here, great farm. Why not say it's dropping familial debt bonds? But once you kill this boss, it drops a bunch of debt bonds on the ground. So that's gonna be your best farm right here. Is gonna be the Profit Taker. Uh, and frames that you're gonna want to uh, run for this, you know, want to run a uh, Chroma or Chroma Prime. Chroma Prime is fourth ability. We'll make it where this boss, this boss drops about like 200,000 credits at the end. Chroma's fourth ability will double the credits you get from this boss if you put the, the Chroma's fourth ability behind the boss. A weird thing, but Chroma's fourth ability doubles credits for some reason. So, very powerful. Additionally, once you're doing this, you're getting the debt bonds, you're getting credits, and you're going to be getting potentially Radiant Relics, rare mods that only drop here. It's, it's quite nice. Uh, it's a little bit repetitive, but yeah, extremely good farm right here. Uh, I highly recommend it, so... That's going to be your main places to get debt bonds. You have limited ways of getting them. You technically can buy them from Ticker. But I don't really want to go talk to Ticker again because Ticker's going to give me every dialogue under the sun. Let's see if I can make it over there uh, with my ears still intact. So technically you get it from Bounties and Profit Taker, but you can also buy them from Ticker uh, for whatever resources. So for example right here, give Ticker 10,000 nanospores, 2,500 polymer, and 99,000 credits. And I get advanced debt bonds and training debt bonds. Probably a fine enough deal. And these do rotate throughout the course of the day. So be careful, though. If it says, like, give me all of your all of your fish parts, you don't have that many fish parts, don't waste it. Just If you see one that's just crets, you have the crets to spare, go for it. So I, overall, guys, not an event that anyone should really, like, be, like, you know, bending over backwards to get this stuff. It's really nothing exciting. And they never add anything super exciting to this. Uh, as far as stuff this year that's new, we got, like, some new glyphs and that emote. So, Yeah. Hope this was helpful to someone out there. Uh, sorry about their annoying dialogue. I can't believe they talk so much. Uh, either way, I'll see you guys later tonight on stream. And appreciate all the support. Take it easy. Peace.